2025 Porsche 911 GTS Hybrid has 532 HP power and start button. The base Carrera is also PDK only and has a 9 horsepower increase. Manuel fans will have to wait for the Carrera S to arrive in MY26. Facelift Porsche 911 Series, highlighted by the 532 horsepower GTS with hybrid 6 cylinder and electric turbo. The GTS and the base 388 horsepower Carrera are PDK only. No manual 911s until Carrera S launches in MY26. The fully digital instrument panel and starter button debut in the 911. All coupes now have two seats as standard. For a start, it ditches the old twin turbo setup for a single wastegate less turbo that can be cycled electronically to eliminate lag and also uses energy from the exhaust gases to charge a 1.9 kilowatt hours, 400 volt battery housed in the fuselage. This battery powers a single electric motor stored in the mandatory 8-speed PDK transmission. It produces 54 horsepower, 54 PS slash 40 kilowatts, and 110 pound FT, 149 newton meters of torque, helping the GTS's powertrain achieve a total system output of 532 horsepower, 540 PS, and 449 pound FT, 609 newton meters. As in 2024, the Carrera only comes with the PDK dual-clutch transmission and has not undergone as dramatic a transformation as the GTS. There's no hybrid power pack and no electric turbo, but squeezing the two turbos from last year's GTS helps boost power from 379 horsepower, 385 PS, to 388 horsepower, 394 PS, while leaving the 450 newton meters. 331 lbfd torque peak unchanged performance improvements are negligible 0 to 60 miles per hour takes 3.9 seconds or 3.7 seconds if you opt for the sport chrono package that adds launch control these figures are only one tenth better than before and top speed increases by one mile per hour to 183 miles per hour 295 kilometers per hour but the price has increased it jumped from $114,400 to $120,100. The Carrera S will take a sabbatical in 2025, but we expect it to return in 2026 and bring a manual transmission option to the 911 series. Accurately predicting changes to the Carrera, reports suggest that it too will receive a similar non-hybrid upgrade that will increase its power from 443 horsepower, 450 PS, to 454 horsepower, 460 PS. Coupe, Cabriolet and Targa versions of the new Carrera and GTS are available from launch, but we can expect Porsche to expand the range over the next three years with updated T, Turbo and GT3 models, as well as some special models similar to last year. The 911S T will please the richest brand fans. The GTS's active air flaps, which close to improve aerodynamics or open to introduce cool air into the front radiators during track use and work in conjunction with underbody diffusers, mean you'll have no trouble identifying it. However, other changes will help you spot the 2025 MY version of both the GTS and Carrera. Both come with Porsche's 4-point LED matrix headlights, which concentrate all lighting duties in lamp units and do away with separate turn signals and DRLS. There's also a new rear trunk grille with five vertical stripes on each side, and the word Porsche below is now illuminated and incorporated into the transverse light bar connecting the taillights. Carreras come standard with 19-inch front and 20-inch rear wheels, but 2021st options are also available. These include 911 Carrera exclusive design wheels, whose carbon fiber blades can reduce drag at speed and attract crowds when parked. Both Carrera and GTS buyers have the opportunity to add the Aero Kit, which consists of a Porsche Sport Design front spoiler, side skirts and a fixed rear wing. If there's one thing that's guaranteed to enrage the new 911 from hardcore Porsche fans, it's the way you start. You still do this by reaching for the door side of the steering wheel. It's a holdover from Porsche's early racing days when it allowed drivers to crank the engine and put it into gear simultaneously. But instead of a simulated key that can be turned, 2025 has a wrench. Start button, just like Taikung. 
The band can even display Apple CarPlay material accessed via Siri voice commands, and other tech upgrades include video streaming functionality for the 10.9-inch infotainment screen while the car is parked, a cooled smartphone charger, and the ability to use apps like Spotify and Apple Watch. Apple Music without connecting a phone. Porsche is currently taking orders for the new 911 range in coupe, cabriolet and targa form, but while Carrera deliveries will begin this autumn, the GTS won't arrive in dealerships until the end of the year.